Hi, Mark Henderwood here from Connected Healthcare with another video in the series for the ventilator from Mindray called the SV800. This video will look at an overview of the external features of the Mindray ventilator, looking at the roll stand, the battery, the display, the arm, all those kind of external features that you'll see from the outside, the modules, and hopefully familiarise yourself with what it feels like on the ground. So here's the Mindray SV800 ventilator. The main components. Down the bottom we've got four lockable wheels on a sturdy frame. We've got a Fisher & Paykel humidifier there today. The arm for the patient circuit. I'll give you a closer look at that soon. Handle at the back for manoeuvrability. We've got modules on the side inspiratory, expiratory limb from the front and the display at the top of course. Coming in a bit closer we've got our main display on top. In the front here we've got our inspiratory limb with a filter, expiratory limb with filter. It's also where the flow sensor sits in the back of and we've got a nebulizer port there as well. A little bit further down, there's a bracket down here that fits the Fisher & Paykel humidifiers no problem at all, they just slip right in. Around the other side here we've got brackets, expiratory port, bracket for holding things like the circuit arm. We've got the handle there for manoeuvrability. You can put modules in the side here and that will have an interface with the ventilation. Power supply of course, you'll need that, although every ventilator comes with a battery. So you'll be okay for about 90 minutes without one earth plug there. From the other side, you've got gas inlets here. Plugging into the wall, you've got capacity for gas cylinders on the back. The display is rotatable, 360 degrees. Around the back of the display unit, there's some ports up underneath for data and for USB. The USB, if you want to export data, as well as run a ultrasonic nebulizer. The arm to hold the circuit is got a range of flexible joints. These blue ones allow you to pull the arm just up like that. And if you want to go down, you push them in and then they have a locking mechanism there. So you can lift them up and unlock them to reduce the height. There's another one here, which doesn't have that locking, it's just a straight elbow. There's a flexible apparatus here, which gets, as you get closer to the patient, it provides you with this little system which doesn't get in the way, but gets you closer to provide that support for your tube. 